Hello, I'm Javis Lewis, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to animate the sunlight in Das Studio. I've recently done a live stream there, check that out if you haven't already, in which I've shown you how to make the sun disk appear in the sky and to bring it out and to use it in your scenes as a nice funky backdrop. And in so doing, I've demonstrated how you can set very much the accurate time of day with you know the longitude and latitude and all that and there's a value called ss time and that value is the one that specifies how high the sun is in the sky but that's not a tangible asset that we can select in the scene tab and then as a result of it we can't animate it so i'm going to show you a trick how we can make that happen in death studio i'm currently working on this animation here it's something that needs a little bit of tweaking but you can see what amazing effects you can create with the sun just traveling in the sky and uh, this is i've used nothing other than the sunlight in the sky and some point lights on the logo that's all i've done here but uh, what i like about this presentation is the fact that we can see the effect that the sun has on the shadows and the very different quality it gives all the images in the animation. So let's see how we can perhaps make that happen. There's a little unknown tool built into DAS Studio that comes with the default settings and that's called the sun dial and you can find that in the smart content tab under render settings iray and then here it is it doesn't have a logo it's just got that exclamation mark which usually means there's no logo and that's the sundial set and you can double click that to load that in i won't do that just yet I'll, I'll show you the effects of that and the implications of what this does you can also find that on the content library tab under your das 3d library under render presets and in there is a folder called iray and that's the same file that is loaded now in my stream I've shown you that under render settings in the environment at the very bottom here well actually if you have if you set the dome and scene light either to sun and sky only or you can remove the environment map that will have the same effect as soon as you do that you've got all these extra options at the bottom here and one of them is the SS sun node and you've got the longitude and latitude actually you can probably just expand that under dome and then you've got a whole menu here sun and sky and that's where all these little goodies are in and longitude and latitude lets you set the location on the planet and then you have the time of day and then you've got the ss time value and that's the one we technically want to animate to see the sun move in the sky and the th the implication of this sundial thing is as soon as we load it in i'm going to do that from the smart content tab i'm just going to double click that you can see that das studio has brought in some kind of contraption here that looks like it's two bones held together by a piece of string type thing and it has presented in the scene tab it's got something called the sundial now we're going to have a closer look at what that does and how that works but for now if we go back to render settings you'll notice that the ss time value and in fact the longitude latitude and all that has gone away from the environment tab and that's because the ss sun node parameter has now been set namely to the sun object which is part of the sun dial so as soon as that is bound to a node in our scene tab we no longer have these I guess fairly accurate options here in our environment menu but we now tied them to an object or to a node inside our scene that's cool that way as soon as you set this to none all these parameters will come back but let's leave it to sun like the sundial thing is going to set it up to so we're going to leave that there and now we can see that under the scene tab we have several items here we've got the sundial we've got the sun base which appears to be invisible we can make that visible but that's just an extra bone that appears here so let's just make that invisible again then we have the sun chain remember that that's kind of the most important thing here and then we have the sun none of these things are that important except for the sun chain because if you have a look over on the parameters tab there's still nothing we can do with the sun with the sun base or with the sun dial but what we can do with the sun chain is we can now set manually the elevation and the azimuth level so elevation is how high the sun is in the sky and the azimuth is in what angle it appears to be in relation to the earth so that's kind of you know that's how it travels from left to right and the elevation is how high it is in the sun so now you have full manual control over these values and now you can go ahead and with the sun chain selected you can go to your timeline and you can animate it so watch what happens if i play with the elevation level here 
that's what happens. So this thing is pointing at the sky, this little thing here, and that is where that sun ball is happening in the sky. So now that we have full control over that, azimuth then, of course, is, um, is where it points in the sky, like you know, kind of left and right, and this is up and down, if you will. The default is 35, so I'm going to set that back to that. Resetting doesn't work, by the way. Resetting makes these values zero. Look what happens. Alt click will make these values zero so we're gonna have to put them back to 35 to have some kind of elevation there in the sky and now it's a simple matter of with the sun chain selected on the regular timeline you can set a keyframe here with a little plus icon move your playhead forward say like to one second and at that point put the elevation to something else could be lower uh, put the azimuth somewhere else. You have full manual control. At that point, another keyframe is created. And now you can move the timeline slider and you can see that this now animates your sun. And that creates effects similar to what I've just shown you in the beginning there with that animation of my 3D shenanigans logo where the sun seemingly travels over the scene and creates very different effects depending on the time of day. Quick tip for me, I thought I'd share this with you. If you like this, then of course give it a thumbs up and share it with friends, family and total strangers. If you're interested in 3D scene building and all that, join me for the 3D shenanigans live stream every Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.